Wow. Hello again everyone, today I'm going to continue with the setup of my Emotion RC Vortex. Uh, yesterday you seen that I took it apart and had a look around the inside, had a little tinker. Um, the main reason for that is because um, I didn't have my signal converters to work and uh, to make my receiver talk to the flight controller. Uh, so I'm going to be using my Futaba T8FG Super, which will talk directly to uh, this what is it, RS60, I can't tell because I've got all rubbish on there. But basically this is an S-Bus receiver. Um, the flight controller does not talk S-Bus, it actually talks a different language, which is CPPM. So I've had to uh, get a FR Sky S-Bus to CPPM converter. So this will uh, directly plug into here. Let's get this in now. And there we go, it simply converts it straight from S-Bus to CPPM. Uh, but unfortunately my... Um, immersion vortex here has a servo cable on the end and so does the converter so obviously this doesn't go together I don't have an adapter for that so I'm just gonna snip through these cables and uh, attach them so that this can then directly plug into the uh, bottom board and we'll talk straight away so let me just solder that up so there we go we're all wired up now we've got our receiver going through talking to our converter and then directly soldered in onto our connector to go inside the vortex so I'll just plug that in now and there we have it plugged in so all I need to do now is uh, go through the uh, RC uh, TX setup wizard so let's uh, get our uh, goggles on get the DVR on so I can show you what I'm doing on screen uh, you won't need to do this if you have a compatible receiver, there are plenty of receivers out there um, that are capable of CPPM, it's just that I'm a Futaba guy, some people like Spectrum and um, various different uh, receivers and transmitters, so you might not need to do this if you haven't got a Futaba, but if you have, well this is how you do it, just buy a cheap converter and swap it over to CPPM. So I've just set a new profile in my radio and I'm ready to uh, start with this. So the first part says uh, move roll, control left and hold. So obviously the roll is here, I'll hold that to the left. Return controls to neutral. Move your control left and hold. So here's my your, hold that left. Return controls to neutral. Move throttle to min and hold. Throttle all the way down. Now you can see that that actually went up, so I need to reverse my throttle. Let's uh, go in and reverse throttle. There we go. Throttle's now reversed, so I'll pull that down and hold. Return controls to neutral. Move pitch stick back and hold, so here's our pitch. Pull it down, and you can see that I also went up, so my pitch needs reversing. Okay, let's pull that back. Return controls to neutral left stick back and left so left stick back and left return controls to neutral level quad move right stick back and hold so right stick back and hold return controls to neutral all done so that's the TX setup completely done So we see our flight information on there. To get into the menu, I'm going to need to go throttle down and left. So I figured out the reason why I couldn't get into the menu and I thought I'd explain it to you just in case you guys come across it too. Uh, I suspect there will be quite a few people that may have this problem. Uh, the problem was that the endpoints that were set in the radio were not correct for the channels. So the channels should go from 
uh, value of 1000 to 2000 unfortunately uh, the endpoints that come stock in the, in the radio are 1100 to 1900 so when I was telling it that the throttle was all the way down and to the left it wasn't it was still up 100 uh, in those values so um, the easy way to do it was to actually connect it up to the computer so I'll just uh, turn everything on let's get my big face in the way so that is on and we shall turn on our vortex. What you'll need to do is obviously use the clean flight software. Uh, you can download that from, uh, well I'll put a link in the description if you want that. And I'm going to connect up with the USB straight into my Mac. So I'm going to use the USB on the back here and just plug straight in. Ideally, you should be taking the props off, but I've already changed all this, so uh, I'm just, all I'm doing this for is to literally show you. So on the screen, if I go up to receiver, and we wait. So because I'm using Futaba, the center point is 1520, so as you can see, we've got 1520 here. You will need to change this in the setup option as well, if you're using Futaba. If you're using the other radios, then 1500 will be your center value. So in here you can see our minimum throttle 1100, our mid throttle I've put up to 1520, as I say we're using Futaba so that's what I've changed. And uh, once you've selected that, save and reboot. So if I just grab my radio, you can see if I put the stick up we go up to just under 2000 and if I pull down we're just over 1000. So you need to set your endpoints for these channels to go from 1000 to 2000. It's okay if it's under or over by you know uh, three or four. You should be okay um, as long as your midpoint. If you're on Futaba, it's 15 to 20. You should be fine. So that was the main reason. I found as soon as I uh, made those changes that when I done my down and left, I could go straight into the menu then. So as you can see, we've got our screen here, which is our power up screen, giving you an overview of the current settings and versions. Uh, to come out this we're just going to move our stick and it turns off. So you should find now if I put throttle all the way down and to the left and hold it, our OSD menu comes up and we can go up and down using the right hand stick. And to go into the menu we're going to go to the right and to come out of that menu go to the left. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to have a little quick look at my OSD setup. This is the first time I'm doing this, so let's have a little look through. Landscape, Easy OSD, Air Race, Heads Up Display, and Gamer. So one of the things I really like about this is actually the LED setup. So if I go into the LED setup here, we can choose our actual colour. Uh, you don't have to have red on the, if you don't want to, you can change that. So uh, at the moment it's red, we can do green, blue, yellow, cyan, magneta, orange or none, uh, even white if you want to but uh, as standard it comes red and you can change various settings of them uh, so if you're putting your throttle up and down you can have it change from one colour to another to let people know what you're doing with your throttle. Uh, to do that it's through here so you've got intensity uh, and gradient. So that's just my quick initial setup of the uh, Vortex. Uh, hopefully if any of you guys have had the problem uh, that I had, then you'll know how to fix it now. So just go into your endpoints and adjust all the uh, channels 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way from uh, 1000 to 2000 on your endpoints and you should be good to go. So that's it guys. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get out soon and take it out with a GoPro or a Mobius on board. Unfortunately there's no power cables on there to power those cameras. Uh, so we'll get out soon and we'll have a good test fly. So that's all for now guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.